Hermione plans. So today I'm doing something a little bit different and I'm working on kind of my 2021 home improvement wish list page that I'm going to put in my Touch All Classic Happy Planner. So if you saw my 2021 goals, um, I had 21 improvement projects around the house as one of the things I want to accomplish in 2021. And I've been trying to figure out the best way that I wanted to kind of keep track of that and how we were going to plan those projects. So what I did was, and this is not drawn proportionately, this is not drawn to scale, but I sketched out on just a piece of dot grid paper kind of what the first level of our house looks like. The bedroom, my office, the living room, the kitchen, the bathroom, my husband's office, we have a utility room, and then what the upstairs looks like, our guest room, my sewing room, the bathroom, and then our attic space. And I did that, and then I just kind of put post-it notes on there as placeholders to start coming up with a list of, you know, what do I want to do in that room? And right now, I'm not specifically nailing down what I want to do in 2021. I'm really looking at each individual room and thinking about how is this room functioning for us today? How would we like to see it function in the future? What's the overall aesthetic and feeling that we're going for? And in a perfect world, if budget and time were not factors, what would I like to see happen in that room this year? So, obviously, I don't want to keep these post-it notes because over time, they'll get less sticky, they'll get bent, they could fall off. So I pulled out these checklist boxes, and I believe these may have been from one of the Happy Planner sticker rolls that came out a few years ago, but I thought these would be a great way to transfer information onto here and would hold up a little bit better than the post-it notes. So I'll just kind of show you what I had in mind. So right now in my office, the first thing I need to do is I need to see based on the space, because many of these are gonna to need to be trimmed down a little bit, but that's okay. I am not afraid to cut my stickers. So we're gonna put this right here. And then I just grab my black Le Pen. So I'm gonna put my office and there's really not a ton that I want to do in my office because we actually just redid it last year. But one of the things is I do need to replace the door. Um, the door out to the front porch is in my office and it's 100 years old and leaks there like you wouldn't believe. And then I also still need to do replace the windows. So for right now, that's the only thing that's gonna go kind of in that category. So then if I move over here, and for the bedroom, I think the whole sticker is gonna fit. And here again, in the bedroom, there's not a ton that we need to do But, we do need to replace the windows. I do, at some point, want to replace the walls. And when I say I want to replace the walls, it's because this is a very old house. So, the original walls are lav and plaster. And anyone who has ever lived with lav and plaster knows that after 100 plus years, the plaster starts losing some of its grip and it kind of starts coming down and there's plaster dust all the time. 
and unfortunately in our bedroom um, they never put any type of finish coat on top of it they just put wallpaper directly on top of the plaster and when that original wallpaper came down it started taking down the plaster too so that's a big job we're gonna have to have a contractor and have some help with it because we have you know the 12 foot ceilings but I would really like to have someone come in, take all the remaining uh, lav and plaster out of our bedroom and put drywall up just so we have another hundred years of the walls standing strong. And then I also want to paint in the bedroom. Okay, now we're going to have to grab the white out because... I apparently can't talk and write at the same time. I do not want to paint the bedroom. P A I N T. Paint. So then I'm going to move on to the next one, and I'm just kind of trying to vary up the colors a little bit. Um, here again in the bathroom not a ton of stuff because we just did a big bathroom remodel a couple years ago so I want to touch up the paint I want to swap out the faucet and I need to okay I really cannot talk and write today ceiling I need to paint the ceiling um, so now we're gonna move over to the living room. Mm -hmm. So one of the big things that we've wanted to do for years in the living room is do something with the walls. Um, the walls in our living room are paneled eight foot up and then there's plaster above that. The paneling is, it's the old wood paneling with the oil-based stain. You can't sand it, it doesn't hold paint really well, but it makes the room pretty dark. So I'd really like to have that taken out and replaced with drywall paint the ceiling. The living room is one of the few rooms where we have not replaced the carpet. We need to do some work on one of the windows. We need to do some work on one of the doors. And curtains. Now, as I said, this is Guys, this is not like an all-inclusive list. This is not, we're not necessarily going to do all of these things in 2021. And quite frankly, this is really just kind of a brain dump page for me to keep notes and, and track of things. Because ultimately, what... I'm going to be doing is coming up with project pages and I'll do a video on those later once I decide how I want to set them up but I'm going to be coming up with project pages for each one of these rooms that lists out all of these projects but also has 
like all of the room dimensions and the wall dimensions and the window openings and the door openings and the square footage and how many gallons of paint. And then I'm gonna have kind of a spot for some inspiration and going to be um, coming up with some pricing. And really I'm gonna be looking at like total not on sale pricing because what I like to do is watch for things to go on sale. So in the kitchen, just the big projects, we have paint the walls, replace the counters, replace the sink, replace the black splash, change out the curtains. This is going to be our utility room. And I know it needs a new coat of paint. I want to redo the shelving for the pantry. I want to redo the storage shelves. We need to replace the window. We need to do some work on the doors. We're going to put curtains here. Uh, I have office, which is uh, office too. That's my husband's office. I'm not touching it. Uh, we painted it last year. We put carpet in we changed out the light fixture did all of that not not gonna worry about it so upstairs i have my sewing room so i need to get the final sewing table construction constructed i need to work on storage it needs curtains and that's about it um, upstairs in the guest room there's really not much that needs to be done we do kind of need to put new carpet in the guest room I need to figure out nightstands, I need new curtains, and, and then we're going to make an extra one down here that says closet, because I think there's better ways that I could organize the closet. Um, okay, now... Our attic, I kind of have the attic broke down into three zones based on the layout because it's a pretty good size attic. But we're just going to put one list up here. So things I know that we need to do in the attic. I need to make sure we have the right ventilation. We need to bump up the insulation. I would really like to sheet the walls, finish sheeting the floors, and get some dedicated storage racks or cabinets or something. Now, so far, I have put everything kind of where it goes in the appropriate room. This is going to be the exception. So, this is actually where I want to list things for our upstairs bathroom. And the reason I'm doing that is because the list is very long. Our upstairs bathroom is very small right now. It's only a half bath. Um, we did recently have some issues where apparently if you turned on the sink, then it rained in the downstairs bathroom. So we, we've done some plumbing work. And out of that, we kind of decided that we finally want to put in more of a full bathroom, enlarge it a little bit because we have room to come out into the attic. So on the bathroom, we're pretty much looking at everything. A new toilet, a new sink, a medicine cabinet or a mirror, a new vanity, 
a new faucet, a new shower, a new floor, paint, and then I have these two that I kind of cut off and we're going to put them here because this is a project that kind of encompasses the attic and the bathroom because first is going to be expanding the bathroom into the attic and the second is going to be putting in a new attic door. And then last but not least, I haven't drawn it up yet. So I'm going to leave it on the sticky you know, or on the post-it note for right now. But I started making a list of thing, outside things. Um, I'm going to need to do some work on my flower gardens, the vegetable garden, the patio. We need to paint the house. I need to paint the porch. We need to work on the yard. I want to look at putting in an orchard. But I'm going to do a separate one of these for the outside. I just need it to get a little warmer so I can get out there. So for right now, I am going to put this right behind my 20 for 21. So I have it to reference. And as I think of things, I can add them onto here. And like I said, I'm going to work on project sheets that will be more in depth, have more detail, have more pricing. And the goal is to get it all laid out before it starts getting warm out. So as things go on sale or as time and budget allows, we have a list that we can look at and say, okay, we're gonna do this project. So that's how I'm kind of getting started on my 2021 home improvement. I would love to hear in the comments how you keep track of home improvement projects or inspiration or ideas on things that you wanna to do to your house or how do you get motivated to do them? So if you like this video, hit the like button below. If you want to see more of my videos, consider subscribing. And happy planning, everyone.